84% of people with irritable bowel syndrome test positive for this. Given that one in five people walking around have irritable bowel syndrome, you must consider small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, when you have chronic long-standing IBS. IBS is typically just a diagnosis that's given. It's a label that's given when the system doesn't really know what's wrong with you. But you know that symptoms are king and that as long as you have gas, bloating, stomach pains, constipation, diarrhea, you know deep down that you're not functioning and digesting at 100%. When it comes to IBS, terrain is everything. And what I mean by terrain is the terrain within you, the environment within you, that all the food goes down into. Because it's not always a problem with respect to food, but more so the environment that the food is going into. There are some easy ways to help settle down IBS, such as moving towards a paleolithic diet, removing grains and dairy and processed foods. That usually takes the edge off, but it doesn't always fix it because it's not just the food that's the problem, but the environment, the microbiome, and the gut bacteria within you, it's that environment that the food's going into that matters more. So in our world, we know there's a huge connection between small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and IBS. We have an amazing breath test that actually quantifies this issue so you can see where the overgrowth is because most of our bacteria should be on our large intestine. But if you have a ton of it populating your small intestine, when your body goes to break down this food, and it could just be like salads and broccoli and chicken, really clean, healthy stuff, when it goes down um, into the small intestine and that food starts to get broken down, you have this excess amount of bacteria causing gas to be released and that leads to bloating and stomach pains and distension. So again, not just the food going down, but how it's broken down and processed, that's what matters more. So if you've been labeled with IBS, if you have chronic long-standing gut issues, you need to be screened for SIBO. It's a super simple at-home breath test where you collect your breath over three hours so we can actually see what sort of imbalance is occurring within your small intestine. From there, we can use natural approaches to balance those levels so that when you go and eat again, your body doesn't freak out. We've seen this time and time again. The system doesn't give you answers. We definitely can. Shoot me a message and we can talk about uh, SIBO testing, your current symptoms, and how we can look at getting your digestive health back on track.